Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's January 29, 2022. We are here in Los Angeles, California. Okay, uh, this is uh, David De Los Reyes. I got a new discussion for today. Okay, uh, let's proceed. My new discussion today is uh, integration of inverse functions. Integration of inverse functions. The last time around, uh, we are done with the powers of trigonometric functions. It got so many variations. So I hope uh, you have uh, understood those uh, integrations because uh, for those who are taking up integral calculus, you need it those ones. Okay, uh, let's proceed with the next discussion, integration of inverse functions. It's uh, getting to be interesting. Uh, you know, uh, if we are now familiar with the integration, we could go to the applications. Some of the applications, to just to mention you, is a, in the so-called derivation for areas for uh, parabola, something like that. Do you know why the curve on the side of the airplane is something like that? Actually, that was a mathematically designed. And that's the importance of calculus. Okay, uh, let's proceed for the discussion for this afternoon. Integration of inverse functions. Okay. Uh, we are going up the ladder. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will give two formulas for integration of inverse functions. Number one formula. The integral of dB over the square root of a square minus b square equal to arc sine of b over a plus c. That's the, the number one formula for the integration of inverse functions. The integral of dB over the square root of a square minus b square equal to arc sine of b over a plus c. Formula number two. The integral of dB over a square plus b square and this should be equal to 1 over a arc tangent of b over a plus c. In here, b is variable. Uh, a is a constant. It's just a representation, okay? Uh, let's try to bring out the derivation of these two formulas. Because, uh, as usual, uh, I give you the formula, I will give you the derivation, so you believe in what I'm giving to you, to you guys, right? It's uh, always like that. If you give an equation and you could not derive it, uh, no sense, right? Okay, let's proceed with the derivation. Number one. To derive this one, uh, we, we let y equal to arc sine of b over a. To derive this equation here. Okay? Y is equal to arc sine of b over a. Take the sine of both sides. The sine of y equal to the sine of the right hand side. Okay? The sine of y is just the sine of y equal to on the right hand side the sine of the arc sine of b over a okay it will just be simply b over a just like in the integral if the integral sign goes near the differential sign they will wipe out each other for the sign in arc sign if this sign here goes near this arc, arc sign over here it they will cancel each other Right? So what will come out is just simply B over A on the right hand side. Okay? We've been doing that, right? So sine of Y is equal to B over A. Okay? Where B is a variable, A is a constant. Take now the differential of both sides. 
the differential of sine of y equal to b over a open bracket close bracket take the differential of all the terms that's the meaning of this okay the differential of sine of y don't be afraid with this one if you take the differential of a sine function it will be the cosine of the given function times its differential so the differential of sine of y is cosine of y times dy equal to the right hand side is something like this since a is a constant this can be written as 1 over a times b right a is a constant and how do we take the differential of a constant times a function it should be that constant times the differential of that function so what comes out on the right hand side is 1 over a times db okay that's the differential calculus uh, multiplying all the terms by the reciprocal of cosine cosine of y okay cosine of y dy times 1 over cosine of y this cosine of y cancel with this what will remain on the left hand side will just be simply dy equal to 1 over a okay times db times 1 over cosine of y this is 1 over cosine of y okay dy simplifying equal to 1 over a 1 over cosine is second so second of y times db okay this is the resulting equation okay then we, we use the right triangle uh, method and here sine of y is b over a actually we could construct that's a from this definition here sine of y is b over a this is a right triangle sine of y is b over a opposite over hypotenuse Okay, so if we take to if we try to compute for the value of the adjacent side, it will be the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the opposite side, then take the square of. Okay, and in here <coughs> we can compute for the value of second of y. Second by definition is hypotenuse over adjacent. So the second of this angle is a the hypotenuse over the square root of a square minus b square. We will put this value a over the square root of a square minus e square back here. Okay, so what will come out? dy now equal to 1 over a times second of y. What, but what is second of y? It is a over the square root of a square minus b square times db. Okay, this a here cancel with this. So what will come out will just be simply dy equal to db over the square root of a square minus b square okay or oh, let's continue take the integral of both sides it's originally like that right take the integral of both sides The integral of dy equal to the integral of db all over the square root of a square minus b square. We are solving for this. Right? We put that on the left. And the integral of the differential of y, as I told you before, if this integral sign goes near this differential sign, they will cancel out each other. Right? So this y here, we place it on the right. It will be y. Plus C. But what is Y? Y is actually arc sine of B over A. So the number one formula under inverse uh, functions, the integral of DB all over the square root of A square minus B square equal to arc sine of B over A plus C. That's it. That's formula number one. It's not hard if you know your trigonometric differentiation. 
Even me, uh, if I will try to differentiate arc sine, uh, I will be thinking what will be the formula. But if I could transform that to a trigonometry, okay, I am more familiar with the differentiation of trigonometry. So I could actually derive the formula. That's we, what we did over here, right? Okay. Okay, uh, let's bring out uh, formula number two, the derivation. That is the integral of dB over a square plus b square equal to 1 over a, arctangent of b over a, plus c. Okay, let's bring out the derivation. We let y equal to arctangent of b over a. To eliminate this arctangent here, take the tangent of both sides. The tangent of y equal to the tangent of open bracket, arctangent of b over a. Okay? The tangent of y is just the tangent of y. And if this tangent <laughs> goes near this arc tangent, they will try to cancel out each other, right? So what will come out on the right hand side is just b over a. Meaning tangent of y is b over a. Okay? Take the differential of both sides. Take the differential. The differential of tangent of y is uh, the derivative of the differential of tangent is second square, right? So it should be second square of y times dy equal to uh, b over a is actually 1 uh, one over a. Like I told you a while ago, it's 1 over a times b. a is constant. So it seems uh, we are differentiating the a constant times the function. So it should be 1 over a. And the differential of B is just dB, right? As simple as that one. Then multiplying all the terms by 1 over second square of Y. Right? Second square of Y dy times 1 over this, second square of Y dy, this second square of Y cancel with this, right? So what will remain on the left hand side? dy equal to 1 over a, okay, times dv, times 1 over second square of y, times 1 over second square of y, okay, then we'll try to take the equivalent of this by using the right triangle method, uh, tangent of y is b over a, we are given the right triangle from that definition, tangent of y is b over a, if this is y, it says here tangent of y is b over a. This should be b and this is a because tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent. So this is b over a. So what will be the value of the hypotenuse? It will be the square of this plus the square of this then take the square root. The hypotenuse is the square root of a square plus b square. From here, we could uh, take the value of second of y. By definition, second is hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent. The second of this angle here is hypotenuse over adjacent. Second of y is the square root of a square plus b square over a. But what we need over here is second square of y. So, just take the square of both sides. Right? Square it. Second of y to the second power is second square of y. The square root of a square plus b square to the second power. Oh, I will show you. Okay. It is something like a square plus b, b square raised to the one half. And raise that again to the second power. Right? One half times two, it will cancel out. It will be one. So, so what will come out will just be simply a square plus b square. After the squaring this is square root here, what comes out it will just be simply a square plus b square. And a to the second power is a square. Okay, that's the equivalent of second square of y. It is a square plus b square over a square. Therefore dy now, we'll go back to this. Equal to 1 over a. What is second square of y? It is, uh, is it correct? Oh, we missed something. 
since uh, second square of y is a square plus b square, 1 over second square of y should be the reciprocal of this. It will be a square over a square plus b square. Okay? We will substitute this value for the value of 1 over second square of y. Because second square of y is this. The reciprocal of this will be the reverse of this. It will be a square over a square plus b square. So dy is actually 1 over a times a square over a square plus b square times dv. Okay? Uh, this is a square. So this is actually a times a. So this one a here cancel with this. Right? So dy will be equal to, we got uh, 1a on the numerator a times db all over a square plus b square. Then take the square root, uh, the integral. Okay? The integral of dy equal to the integral of a db all over a square plus b square. Okay? The integral of dy equal to, we bring out a, a is constant, we could bring out, out of the integral sign, it is a, the integral of dv over a square plus b square. Well, we will put this on the left, we are solving for this, right? So, a, the integral of dv over a square plus b square, equal to the integral of dy, you put this one on the right. The integral sign goes next to the differential sign, they will cancel out each other. What will come out on the right will just be simply y. But what is y? No, no. Oh, not yet. Uh, this is a, the integral of db over a square plus b square. Okay? We will multiply this by 1 over a. Okay? Because we are only solving for the integral of db over a square plus b square. Okay? The left hand side times 1 over a, this e here cancel with this. So what will come out on the left will just be simply db over a square plus b square. Okay? 1 over a times y is 1 over a times y. Right? But what is y? y is uh, arc tangent of a. Uh, arc tangent of b over a. Therefore, formula number 2, the integral of db over a square plus b square equal to, we are following this, 1 over a times y, but what is y? Arc tangent of b over a plus c. That's formula number 2. It looks similar to the derivation under differential calculus. Actually, uh, we are deriving the integration formulas by using differential calculus. So in general now, formula number 2 under inverse functions, the integral of dv over a square plus b square equal to 1 over a arctangent of b over a plus c. So, to solve problems under uh, integration of inverse functions, memorize these two formulas over here. Okay? That is, I will repeat it for the last time. The integral of dv over the square root of a square minus b square equal to arc sine of b over a plus c, the integral of dv over a square plus b square equal to 1 over a, arc tangent of b over a plus c. As simple as that one. Uh, I think uh, that's just more, more than good enough for this afternoon. Okay, January 29. So if you like it guys, please click like. If you want to share it, please click share. And if you are interested in studying integral calculus the best way I can, please subscribe to my channel. Good afternoon, Los Angeles.